It's day 150 of my yellow onion germination experiment and I'm seeing actual cobwebs from real spiders nearby, not just spider mites. So that's a good sign. However, those strands of silk were just single strands, you know, the kinds that spiders set and then decide that they don't want to commit to a full web. So the problem with spiders is that they only kill a small fraction of all the prey in the area. You know, no predator ever kills off 100% of its prey unless it's in a confined environment that's failing. So, yeah, it'll just make a huge mess and not really benefit you in the long run either. So I just got rid of those cobwebs with a paper towel. This lone bouquet of flowers here is nowhere near being done. I may have greatly underestimated the number of flowers in there. If you picture a ring of these unbloomed um, ones, you know, that could be easily 30 or even 40 around the edges. It's day 154 of this yellow onion germination experiment. So you may have noticed that some of the leaves are falling over and breaking over the side of the bowl. You know, there's this one leaf from one plant in bowl number two that has four plants that shot straight up and form that inflorescence at the tip. I think the four plants for bowl number two are spaced far apart because there's already four onion bulbs that are growing and fattening underground. I haven't dug underneath there to investigate yet. But based on what I read online about how long it takes yellow onions to form bulbs, I think it's about time that bulbs started forming. Despite all six of these plants, the two original parent bulbs spending the first 72 days of this experiment in the refrigerator. One of the leaves from a plant from bulb one is shooting straight up, but the tip is fried for whatever reason. I don't think it's going to turn into an inflorescence and become a bouquet of flowers like this. So, you know, it never gets old looking at this. Um, it's just blooming in slow motion. Every day I check on this through the sliding door if I don't go on the balcony outright to tend to my other plants, and it seems like only a few flowers bloom per day. This has been going on for weeks already, and if you count the time that it took for the inflorescence to form from this leaf tip, it's just amazing at how long this whole thing lasts. It's sort of like orchids in that sense but on a very small scale. It's smaller than a baby's fist. I bought some miracle Grow Bloom Booster flower food. So this is a specialized fertilizer that specializes in producing more flowers for plants. And, you know, it also produces more vegetative growth as well. So I'm not quite sure on why this would make a huge difference from the regular kind, but it's got 30% phosphorus, 15% potassium, 15% nitrogen. The composition is different. I think flipped for one of those, um, probably just 30% nitrogen in regular fertilizer, I forgot. So you take that scoop, put some of that blue crystalline powder in water, shake, and you know just water at your leisure. I read somewhere that it can also be absorbed through the leaves, but I'm not really sure like why there would be a mechanism in plants to do so, so I'm kind of discounting that for now. If there are blue crystals on your leaves the next day, uh, due to evaporation, you can just wash them off with water the next time to get into the soil. Okay, it's day 157. So I read that the leaves will fall over and die, turn yellow at some point, and wither away. And that'll signal that your harvest will be ready within a few weeks. So we're not quite at that point yet. But there's separation between these four plants, so I think we're not that far away. Uh, this plant still is in the midst of a full bloom. I read that yellow onions flower rarely in the first year. Not all plants will. And that those that do won't even be producing seeds, which is puzzling to me because why is this plant flowering if it's not going to produce any seeds? Um, maybe it's just saving its reproductive capacity through seed production uh, for the second year. But the other plants, they're just pursuing a strategy of vegetative growth. They'll overwinter as fat onion bulbs and come again next spring to produce plants that can flower and produce seeds. This is footage from day 160. So as you can see, not much has changed. This is a slow moving plant, um, just like ginger is, but not quite that slow. Well, actually it is. I mean, after the initial burst of leaves, uh, there's hardly any growth. So 
some of the flowers at the top have started wilting and turning brown and I think there's maybe only five to ten flower bulbs that haven't opened in this entire bouquet I haven't done a count of anything but you would I would say it's closer to a hundred than fifty at this point so to wrap up the yellow onion is a biennial plant that lives for two years and you know most of the time it doesn't do this in the first year so I'm looking forward to getting a harvest of bulbs pretty soon.